At the start, it was people just didn't believe that boats needed wheels. Police, fire and rescue personnel were able to check out a state-of-the-art watercraft designed for rescue today in Ocean City, coming all the way from New Zealand. Well, a new amphibious boat has just arrived, and it's making the water inviting again. If James Bond had a dinghy, he'd probably have this one. The fastest amphibious rescue boat in the world. Last week, rescuing flood victims in hard-to-reach pockets of Queensland. It's a really remarkable, very overbuilt product that you just can't seem to hurt it. And we put it through its paces and it's, it's never let us down ever. And just like that, we're off. A businessman from New Zealand has broken the world record for the fastest crossing of the English Channel by an amphibious boat. It's great to have everything in house. It really means we've got total control over the process, the quality and the design. C'est la liberté. Donc voilà, je ne suis plus coincé, je suis libre, libre, libre. The other storm is uh, sea legs, something we able to do. Uh, that sea legs uh, shoe metal. It's merely to, 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 to save the problem of trailers and, and, and dragging the boat up the beach and the tide goes out and you have to wait. It's clearly a, a, a boat with wheels rather than a car with a hull. I think we do need a few more of those. Mm, a whole fleet would be handy right that now, would wouldn't it? That would be handy.